hey guys, hey guys, it's it's set on live, so you might have got a hey guys, hey guys out of me instead of just the hey guys, like just the one time like a normal person, I went all like, hey guys, hey guys, like I'm trying to sing a new hit signal for you, but I'm not, I'm just here to make some spaghetti dinner. So thank you for joining me for some spaghetti dinner. Let's get this ready. Then I can do this other keyboard stuff I want to do. We can multitask. So I'm going to put this over here. <clears throat> so what will the secret be? I can't tell you it's a secret, Kaboom and stuff. But when the when the sauce gets all heated up, I will add the secret ingredient. Ninja, ninja, nice choice of sea salt. Thank you, thank you. There's a, I'll explain that in a moment as well. Yehuda, how you doing? Hardware harv, spaghetti harv, what, whatever works for you. So this is live. Yes, this is very live spaghetti dinner right now. So thank you for joining me for dinner. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to turn the heat on to max. We already have the water in here. Now, I've just recently learned that you want to have an obsess, like an excessive amount of salt in your pasta water. It's supposed to make for a much better pasta, like way too much salt. This is a full container of way too much salt. I'm not going to use all of it, but, but I am going to use an absurd amount of it. So here it goes. Like it all gets drained out anyways. Yeah, that's, that's probably plenty. There. That's probably good. So let's see how that is today. That's just a troll post. <laughs> what, the old cheddar? What are you talking about? Yes, mom, my spaghetti, it is my favorite vegetable. Too much salt can send you to the hospital. I am good on salt. I have low blood pressure. I've actually been recommended to eat salt, so I'm, I'm good. I'm going to be straining most of that anyway. Lots of salt. Plenty is a quarter cup. All right, I don't know how much I put in, but there's a nice little, you know, dead sea residue at the bottom of my pot here. I'm also going to start getting the sauce heated up. This is roasted garlic sauce. That would have been so embarrassing if I couldn't open this can right now. I didn't even think about that. But no problem. We did it. So I'm going to empty this whole can in because we're going to let the spaghetti just kind of like marinate in it at the end. Yeah, Chrono Cross, Dead Sea, that's right. But one other thing I like to do here is look at all that delicious sauce that we're just wasting. I'm going to go to the tap over here, fill it, I don't know, not quite a quarter of the way, do one of these, mostly clean out the container, keep the spaghetti sauce from getting too thick and spitting at you, and you have a mostly nice clean jar to put whatever you like in it. Glass containers are great just because, you know, the reusability of it. You know, that cost you like maybe two bucks. I got a nice little mason jar out of it. So much excess sauce can be rinsed out easy. Yeah, and I'll just, I'll eat this over the course of like 24 hours. So the next helping, it'll be nice and spaghetti will soak it all up. Keep some of the water back when you drain it. That's crazy. Stir butter, kaboom. Who, who do you think you're talking to? Glass is fantastic to reuse. Yes, yes. Drain and rinse the noodles. Yeah, I probably should rinse the noodles if they're going to be pure salt. Yeah, not, not butter. Yeah. I was going to mention that, though, like adding high speed. You get, don't walk on my kitchen, buddy. Speedy, you derailed my train of thought, buddy. I'm going to readjust my shirt, though, because I have, like, the tucked-in look. I don't like the tucked-in look. I like untucked. I see salt. Yeah, I see salt. I eat it. So, yeah, I should probably turn this on. I'll turn it on about, I don't know, about, about half. Let's also put the lids on. I mean, I could have heated up the water already, but I wanted I wanted to be here with you. As I wanted the company. Well, I made dinner. <clears throat> Never want my lard chicken recipe for a stream. Let me know. It's delicious. Okay. Or if you just want it in general. 
I should probably at least try it, and if I'm like, this is good, then I could make it. <clears throat> but, I mean, that could just be another thing I do. Just viewers are like, try this recipe. Try this recipe and don't die while also trying the recipe. Oh, I realized the, the most important part that I forgot. Uh, uh, don't mind me. <clears throat> there, it should heat up better now. That should help. This isn't normally where I keep my toaster oven. If last, the last episode of you know dinner with Mega Harv didn't, you didn't notice. I moved the toaster oven, so I have the the burner unit here. Just now, it's like, hey, everything's here. It's easier for me to just. But I also just have a tiny kitchen. If I had like a a four, like I just have the double burner here. If I had a quad burner. I would totally have like some Hamburg with this too. Because Hamburg in with the sauce, it's just, it's great. It's... Ideally, I would add that, but considering my circumstances, I just don't want to take that extra step with a couple of burners, so this will do. Lertes, don't follow the traditional method of measuring al dente. I just taste the noodles, and when they're the consistency that I want, I drain it. <clears throat> That's how I test. If I taste it and it's ready, then it's ready. Thank you for the shirt on Tuck. You're welcome. Yeah, you would you wouldn't be used to seeing me with a Tuck shirt, would you? How are my sub my sub pickles are actually pretty sore today, Kodo. Thanks for asking. I have to I have to give them a stretch, get them back in alignment, get my sub pixels back in alignment. Did you put the lime in the coconut and shake it all up? No, no, I didn't. But yeah, I was now while I was waiting for the water to heat up, I was gonna add like the way that YouTube Live works. If you're streaming through live, is like you can't add tags through live now. But if I go to YouTube Studio now, I can add tags to the to the live stream. I don't know if that actually helps, but. It seems like it should help. So bear with me here one moment as I do that. Oh, hey, I'm streaming. Look at that thumbnail. I just totally ruined my click-through rate. YouTube's like, this guy didn't click on that video. Let's shadow ban him. Uh, the video that I'm currently streaming. Such a pro thumbnail. <laughs> I was just like, you know what? Perfect. Good enough. I don't even know what to do with the thumbnails for these live things. I'm like, there's me, there's my setup. <clears throat> you get the idea, here's a title. Uh, live. Live currently. Yes, there I am. Uh, details. Let's go to details. Uh, thumbnails. I didn't, I didn't think this far ahead. Um, live dinner. Live metadata entry with Megahard. Live dinner, live supper, live meal, meal stream, live stream right now, live stream now. Eating stream. Is this technically a mukbang? I'm gonna put it in the I'm gonna put it in the tags. Stream. Um yeah, that'll do. There, now I will beat out all the other live streams that are currently doing that are just currently just eating dinner. Because I added tags. Once I went live, I added tags. Mega super hard, yes. That's me. Are you going for the world record for making spaghetti? No, I definitely need to make way more spaghetti than this. I see you have a clean, tiny kitchen. You're welcome. Welcome. Yes, Mom, thank you for your 
for your efforts on my behalf, assisting me in my in my tiny space assortment process. Uh, let me get another plastic spoon like a Cretan. I'm even going to like walk like right out in front here. It's all like up close and personal. Uh, I mean, yeah. Grab two spoons just to be safe. I don't think my mom would care much for, uh, you know, a live streaming. My mother actually has like 50 episodes on YouTube about gluten-free cooking. It's on my channel, and you should watch it if you haven't already. So no, she, she wouldn't want a live stream, but she has an entire YouTube series. So there's your shout-out, Mom. There's a shout-out. Hopefully I'll have a book-related shout-out soon -ish. Um, What am I doing? Remember one of those videos? Yeah, I've, I've plugged it a few times. But it seems more relevant here. More of a related topic. Mother's Day one. Okay, a few years ago. Yeah, no, well, that too. No guest appearance. Tiny kitchen. It is a tiny kitchen. I'm going to give this a bit of a stir here. Once it starts bubbling, I'm going to add the secret ingredient, which I've spoken about before, but I'm doing it now. I'm also going to wash the spoon off and the spaghetti water because it drives me nuts. Also, give me a chance to stir the salt around a bit. Stir the pot full of salt. Now, this is the thumbnail right here. Demented smile on my face. <clears throat> so there we go. I, now I should delete. Uh, not delete, but I don't need this open. Uh, close. So I have no idea what I'm going to play for a game tonight if I even do play a game. I have, like, if I'm going to do anything, it's going to be, like, some random one-off thing, most likely. And I have, like, a pile of games from, like, NES to 64 over here. When I'm done eating, maybe we can talk about that. Are you going to throw the pasta at the wall? No. You know, to know when it's ready. I just taste it. And when the consistency is good, I drain it. TMNT SNES. I don't know where my TMNT SNES is. I also don't know where my Animaniacs is, because I was going to put that in the pile, but I don't know where I put it. It should still be here. It's got to be, like, one of, like, three Super Nintendo games I have misplaced at this point. I found a ton of them the other day. Baby's Kids is not one of them, though. No. Not this time around. That's almost a Mel Gibson smile. Not a good role model for sanity. Ganza, how you doing? Aladdin? I do have Aladdin out. It's still even in the rapid. Even in the rapid. But weren't you saying there's... Like, I could still play Aladdin. But you're saying that there was a PS4 version? Because I imagine if I were to play that, it would take nine hours to download for no good reason. I do have a Switch. It's the only way I was able to play Ring Fit Adventure. This is very much like watching paint dry, isn't it, though? I mean, stop watching the pot. It won't boil. Stop it. Stop. That's why the pot won't boil. Stop now. Yeah, don't worry about it, Kaboom and stuff. Collection with Lion King. Oh, it downloads instantly. How much is it? If it's like 20, I'm maybe. But after I'm done eating, I'll just be like, here's my pile of games. But like, if that's your vote, it's your vote. Considering how many games I had, I don't know how I'm even going to be like, well, I will play this one. Because I just have a pile. I'm going to play the Mario 3 games collection. I should do that. 
because I want to play. I need to play Mario 64 for my channel anyway. I need to play all three of those games, quite frankly. So this is the perfect reason to. And then I also do have Super Mario Galaxy 2, I mean. So I could actually play that as well if, I, if I'm not tired of uh, Mario by then. Kirby is my choice. I do have a various and a sundry amount of Kirby's. Kirby games are the best. Kirby Superstar is really good. It's my favorite. Play Karma's half of the tag team live stream. I'm surprised one of us have, haven't just tried to do that to the other yet and be like, well, now you have two turns. Or play for two hours or whatever. I feel like that's a thing Karma Joel would try to do, but not, neither of us have done it. Yeah, I wouldn't want Kirby here when I'm eating when I'm eating dinner. Is this bubbling yet? It is a little bit. Well I'm gonna I'm gonna shake it around a little bit, but I'm gonna grab my secret ingredient. I'm just gonna add some peanut butter to this tomato sauce. Fair bet, like I'm gonna add a decent little dollop of decent little dollop of peanut butter, make it too. A little bit of added protein. Now let it heat together. Peanut butter, what did you do? It's actually not bad. I've tried it before. Well, well, I mean, obviously, if you can't eat peanut butter, you can't do this. That is the last of it. I saved it for this uh, for this occasion. But it gives it a bit of, you know, an earthy taste to it. It goes together well with the spaghetti, I find. Give it a try. I still don't know if I actually said this. I think I got side. I think that's when Speedy sidetracked me, and that's what I forgot to say. But you can add like, if you have to add lard, add lard. But if you add like butter, or if you have to add butter, I mean add butter. But add lard to the noodles, it'll make them give them a nice sheen. Put a nice sheen to them. Add it to the sauce. Tuna, tuna in your Mister Noodles. Good times. Yeah, and I, I'm usually plain Jane when it comes to my noodles with my Mr. Noodles. If I bother to eat them, I don't really eat them nowadays. I did go out and buy like a dozen cans of beefaroni because I had to, or else. Or else you don't want to know what else. I'm going to clean the spoon off again. I mean, that that salt's soaking right up. I'm thinking maybe I should even add more. Because who needs arteries, am I right? Arteries are for suckers. Guess I could just set the utensils down. I don't need to manhandle them the whole time. Don't knock until you try it. Yeah, it's not too bad. Are you making it like West African sauce? Oh, do they do that in West Africa? Peanuts, tomato paste. Oh, really? Some sort of spice. Is that the jerk spice? Or am I thinking Jamaica? Oh, yeah, like I'm saying, like, I just have, like, the two-burner set up. Like, ideally, I would like to have some meat for it, but for a two-burner set up, adding the peanut butter, you can still get some protein in it. Jamaica jerk, yeah. What'd you call me? Jerk spice. You're jerk spice. Gotcha. Jerk spice. But yeah, it just kind of hit me because my mother told me before about adding cocoa powder to tomato sauce, which it kind of like it neutralizes the acidity in the sauce. It gives it more of like a not flatter taste, but I don't know how to explain it. It's like not as, I don't know, just not as acidic. 
doesn't have the same kind of tang to it. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but it's not bad in spaghetti either. But because of that, I was like, well, what about peanut butter? So I do it. What did the blind man say when he got out of the ocean? Something to do with the sea, but but I, I can't. I don't know. Sick of appearance. I can't see. There it is. I knew it. I knew it all along. There's my. There's my. There's my subtle Tom Green beer. Beer. I didn't start doing like random cooking streams because of Tom Green. I don't think. Well, like a month or so ago, he started streaming and he would do random stuff like, oh, I'm just going to cook my dinner or I'm just going to do a late night jam session or whatever. So I don't know, maybe he subliminally influenced me. There's his beer. I don't know if you can still get it, but there's a bottle. They still sell in those? No, that's that's the same one from the, the Montreal trip that I brought back. It's my my souvenir because I don't think they sold it out here just yet and then sometime like a few months later they did start carrying it here it's actually pretty like it's a milk stout but it's actually pretty good but yeah I haven't seen it around in years maybe you can in Ontario still I'm not sure like, I know he's from Ontario. I don't know if that has any bearing on where the beer goes. So I think he's in, like, Florida or California, not one of those. I forget. On opposite sides of the planet, I get them mixed up all the time. Get toasted with jam on toast. I don't like jam. I'm only a peanut butter guy. Although I haven't had peanut butter and jelly, like... In a million years. It's I'd probably like it just fine. Bye for now. Talk tomorrow. All right, Mom. Thanks for stopping by. I'll tell you how this pasta experiment went with the copious amounts of salt. I mean, it's starting to boil a little bit. Just a little bit. So what do I do? I disturb the water so it won't boil. The thing with this heater unit is it doesn't get, like, nice and hot. Probably just so it doesn't set places on fire. But, like, it takes longer for, just because of the shape of this pot. I really should have, you know, a narrower one that goes up higher. And then it wouldn't have to tr tr be trying to heat the cold water that's not even on the element constantly. But, you know, that would make too much sense. I can't do that. Seems like you're a noodle guy. What's that supposed to mean, Douglas? How are you? I actually thought about making a burger. That might be the next one that I do. Just make some some kick-ass burger. Or like a poutine. Or something. Peanut butter jelly in a baseball bat, yes. Chip my teeth. Bunch of waffles. I haven't had waffles in forever. I used to eat them. I used to eat the Ago ones, not like super regularly, but at all. Burger poutine. Oh, those are good. A poutine with like half pound of burger on it. I'd probably start out making a relatively simple poutine, just a regular like no meat on it as well. Just for everyone who's like, what in Sam Hill are you making? Then I can explain, and then I can expand on the poutine experience. You've had yourself a lovely weekend. I didn't really do much. Trump was taking her easy. Other than see that that news article about the masks. I just had to make a video about it. Got a right giggle out of that, I did. Posted the stream on a bigger YouTube or Discord page for stream, so we, we'll see if that gets you any extra traffic. Well, thank you, Kaboom and stuff. Hopefully it does. We shall see. That glory hole, yeah. Never going to happen. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Top Hat. I know people owned guns here. Well, like I more or less when I read the article, like the ending of the video was more or less like what I pictured. And I'm like, well, now I just got to build a video to this. Sped away, found some cops. Did they find the guy? Even funnier. Yeah, you, right when you show it up, I'm like, yeah, you're here for the punchline. You're good. You got away. Jeez. That's very unusual for for here. For New Brunswick. That doesn't sound like something someone from here would do. Sounds like just some rando that was here for some reason. Looked away from the pot, it must be boiling now. No, it's still not quite ready. Had I realized it was gonna take this long, I could have gotten, you know, a little bit of a head start. But I didn't want to like start with the water boiling either. That's uh, the nature of things. Well, I mean, it's orders of magnitude worse to point a gun at somebody. Like, it's one thing to like show someone that you have a gun, but to like actually point. It's like you don't point the gun at anything you don't intend to kill. But then you even pull it out at all. It's like, okay, buddy. Lucky you didn't run him over. Is there any other prep I need to do? I mean, I can get my plate ready. A couple of plates over, over here. This is not like I'm going to eat this whole thing. I have a, I haven't really talked about my spaghetti. I have a whole wheat spaghetti, spaghettini actually. Spaghettini is, if you are unaware, is slightly thinner spaghetti noodles. I did, I like to use it mostly because it cooks faster. <clears throat> is the main reason. Then I do like the texture of the smaller noodles a bit better too. Made with Canadian wheat, healthy harvest. Yeah. Anyone get a random ad midstream? That's a great question, because I certainly didn't hit a button for that to happen. Anyway, here's my strainer. I had the camera panned a little differently until I realized that, you know, the camera was up here. So I had to make some sacrifices, but here's my strainer. Uh, it may as well just go in the sink now. Don't really need the sea salt here. Curious to see if I'll notice a tangible difference in the in the the water in the pasta because of all the salt I added. They get tons of money on streams now. If they just start randomly doing ads, I guess so. From what I understand, I've always been able to just be like, oh, like if I was going to the bathroom, for instance, I've always been able to just hit like a play ad button. I just don't. Maybe I should. Like if I'm on a break, like who cares? 700 people immediately unsubscribe. I need that five seconds while you're on a break. You can't have this. Tenth of a penny, mega harp. How you doing, the gaming king? Ray unit, what's going on, folks? Leave a like and say hello, because I'm about to do a live stream. Do you plan on streaming later? Probably. I'm going to talk about, like, a handful of games I put aside. 
and see if we can't come to like an agreement on one to play. Presuming I still want to play a game by the time I'm done eating. Right now, I could still do it, but we'll see. Oh, yeah. Like, if watching any of my old videos, anytime you watch an ad on my channel, I get some sort of ad revenue. Old video, new video, it doesn't matter. One of those little, like, non, like the pop up ads or whatever on the videos, those are. Like, just click them off. Like, it still counts as, like, ad revenue. Get your ITR, maybe do it. All right, man, take care. Hope you're not too shooken up. Try to get a good sleep into you if you can. Is that the same profile? What? Yeah, that's Dark Soul. It was Dark Soul. And I read my name. What's good? <laughs> How you doing, the gaming king? Oh, you can still skip the ads, and I'll still get some ad revenue out of it. Like for God's sake, don't watch like a twenty-minute ad. Like, good lord, do not do that, <laughs> unless you're actually legitimately interested in the product. Otherwise, if you're not interested, when it says, like, you know, skip ad, by all means, skip it. I think it does, like, give more revenue if you, like, like, if someone clicks through, and then on top of that, like, if they make a purchase. But even if, like, I don't understand this very well, but say someone does click through and make a purchase, I don't think I would be making, like, $10 if you bought, like, a car or anything. I think it just, like... Oh, this one click produced the sale. Well, here's like a whole penny instead of a tenth of a penny. Like, I don't think it really. Like, yeah, it adds up, but don't torture yourself for something, you know, for something that's not moving the needle like that much. Getting there. I should probably just throw the the noodles in soon. I'm getting impatient. Yeah, some of the YouTube ads are just gross. They don't know. If, okay, yeah, they don't know if a click made a sale. They only know it took you to a website. Click and close, just look at extra money if they have click through rate bonuses. Yeah. But, like, at the same time, don't, don't do that just to, like, because, like, say a bunch of people were like, we want Mega Harb to get a bunch of ad revenue, so we're going to do that deliberately a bunch. Like, if the ad companies are like, something weird's going on here, they can be like, well, you're not monetized anymore because your account is doing suspicious things. But if you look at things and click on ads in a way that a normal human would, or at about your normal human rate, I don't think it's going to, like, it would raise any suspicion or even really be, like, gray area. I think that's pretty well intended that way. And have your live streams playing tonight to make you money. I'm not, by the way. I mean, that's handy for watch time. But, you know, not ad revenue per se, like directly per se. Because, no, there's nothing. I don't know if I'm really supposed to encourage people to be like, go to sleep to my eight-hour streams, guys. But, like, if you just so happen to, I think YouTube just, like, look at the watch time on that shit. Look at it. I think they might put more weight on the, like, say that someone fell asleep 
for a four hour stream as opposed to someone who was like there and commenting for a four hour stream. I think if someone's there and commenting for a four hour stream, like that has like more weight to it per se. So like I don't know. Are selling glory. Yeah, I need to. I need to get those on my Teesprings, glory holes. Canadian ones. I think it's okay if you encourage us to go to those streams to sleep. The yeah, others do it for their videos. You know, for sleeping health racing. Well, yeah. I just I don't know. But I mean, like I stream. For years, I've been streaming for hours, late at night. Like, obviously, that's a thing people do, and I'm fine with that. I like to go to sleep to, like, streams or podcasts or whatever myself. Like, it's just kind of nice to have something you're sort of half paying attention to. Then you just kind of drift off, and then you wake up when you wake up. So anyone who does that, it does not offend me at all. But lately, I've just felt like doing stuff like this, too, just for, like, I don't know, just for a change of pace, if nothing else. Just some different stuff. I wouldn't buy a rude t-shirt. What would a Canadian glory hole be? A, a maple leaf with a hole in the middle? These streams are nice. Well, I just, like, I've said it before, but I feel like something about when I'm not doing a gaming stream, I feel like a stream like this, like it's more like we're hanging out than even with like a gaming stream because like I have to pay X amount of attention to the game no matter what. Whereas something like this, it's like, well, yeah, I'm kind of paying attention to the food, but I'm mostly, it's just like, hey guys, how are you? Nothing like too, like it's not gonna get you too revved up might help you wind down after a stressful day, I hope, anyways. Or remind you to be like, you know what, I need to eat. Because what's wrong with that? <laughs> what? That's crazy, Larry. It's that story. Then listening felt weird. Yeah, I could imagine. Big nips on ice. How you doing? I'm not bad. I'm about to get some dinner into me. How are you? Have you ever considered streaming on Twitch? I was like really into Twitch for about a month because I thought I was going to go out for surgery. Long story short, I didn't go out for surgery. And then I just kind of went completely cold on Twitch. But no, I was pretty heavy doing Twitch and YouTube for about a month. But like... If I feel compelled, don't, I may feel compelled to again, but right now I feel like I'm better off focusing on YouTube rather than like splitting between the two. Because for a while I'm like, well, like I want to have like a backlog of videos to upload to YouTube for Twitch. So I was motivated that way too. And I figured, well, people up, like if I can wind up getting like a, an, an afternoon audience on Twitch and like an evening audience on YouTube. Like, what's the problem? Like, I'm not, then I wouldn't be interfering with anything. But right now, I think I would just rather focus on YouTube. Because when I do the multi-streaming, I just feel like anyone that's on YouTube, it just takes them out of it. It's like, oh, who's he talking to? Oh, somebody not on YouTube. We'll find them. And then they don't feel as involved. I don't know. That's how I feel about it at the moment. That being said, maybe I should multi-stream. I was going to say multi-stream like these cooking streams, but like, I don't know. There's something about the simplicity of me just being like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to connect to YouTube directly and stream directly through YouTube rather than worrying about the whimsy of X split. Now it's just a matter of my internet connection works. If YouTube works, the stream will work. There's no other like third party anything to get in the way. 
I'm going to add the spaghetti in now, the spaghettini now, because it's been like 40 minutes. And I want to eat, so. There's a lot of stuff on Twitch that I like, like a lot of the UI in it, the user interface that I like. Like that you can join, like uh, gift, like subs, like gift memberships. YouTube should be doing that. There's no reason not to do that. Like, it's not going to make people who are currently, like, buying subs be like, oh, you can gift subs now? Well, I don't want to even buy subs now. No, they're still going to buy subs, and maybe they'll buy other people subs who are new to the channel and be like, oh, this is neat. I like having these things. And then when it, like, expires or whatever, they'll be like, you know what? I like this guy. I'll just keep this, subscri this, this subscription going. So there's like that on Twitch that I like. And then like the built-in point systems where you can be like, oh, pay me 5,000 points and I'll show you like a speedy picture or whatever custom thing I decide. Or you modify an emoji. Like there's a lot of stuff on Twitch that I really like that YouTube doesn't have. And I can't see any reason why they wouldn't like build it in other than like market share. So maybe that's the reason. And thus it begins. So yeah, long story short, like I don't mind Twitch, but right now I just would just rather focus on YouTube. Although if you ever hear about me getting like a copyright strike or anything preventing me from streaming over here, you can pretty well rest assured that I'll be on YouTube uh, on Twitch until that happens. Should that ever occur? I'll eat a whole box of pasta. I mean, I'll eat it over the course of like a day, but yeah. I just make it all at once. It's good for like two, three, four meals. Like I can use emotes from other streams. Yeah, that too. Here, subbed on in different streams. But yeah. But yeah, just the way the Twitch, like, for, like, I hate using this term because it's, like, it's kind of a slimy term in my view. But, like, the way they gamify, like, the, the interface for the users. Even for the Twitch streamers, it's, like, here's this badge you get if you stream for, like, a thousand hours. Like, I looked at a bunch of these badges, and I'm, like, if I streamed on Twitch, I would have, like, almost all of these by now. Like, say, number to number, everything was the same over on Twitch. I would have had a lot of their badges. I also would have been a partner for, like, a, a minute. I don't know. That probably wouldn't have stuck around. But like, if we're, again, if we're just talking, like, the raw numbers you need. So, like, that's kind of what makes me think about Twitch sometimes. It's like, maybe, maybe I could. But I'd rather just figure out YouTube. One meal at a time. Tuna passed the dumb question, but what is secret sauce? Oh, I added peanut butter to my tomato sauce. I just, I like the consistency it gives. That being said, this can, this can turn off now. Oh, I can really smell the peanut butter in that now. It smells good. I mean, copyright stuff's tricky because, like, if an artist doesn't want their music played somewhere, I think it's their right to not have it played somewhere. It's when these faceless corporations that own an artist's music starts going copyright crazy on, like, songs that they don't even own, but, like, an artist of theirs covered, covered a song and they try to claim what's not even the work that they're claiming, it's the original that they had nothing to do with, that's the problem, at least for YouTube. Because I think a lot of musicians are just like, yeah, fine, it's exposure. 
it's for the art. You want your art out there. But like the artists get shystered enough, so. So yes. Hey, Mr. Godchild, how you doing? Making money? Yeah, totally. Like yeah, if you have like a hit, if you get a hit, the way I understand it, you're pretty much set for life. Not like from the hit exclusively, but between like tour tours and stuff. You know, from from all that. If you're smart with your money, you're good. Interviews, all that crap. But nowadays, like, if you generally, not always, most of the time, if YouTube's like, oh, you have a music copyright, I'll just dispute it. And then the company will generally just, it will expire. And they won't challenge it, excuse me. And in some cases, like Warner Chapel, every time Warner Chapel has claimed a video of mine, I would dispute it. And they actually release the claim. Like they don't wait for whatever the time frame is and just ignore it. They actually will release the claims. So I want to give Warner Chapel their due there. And that's like, oh, it was an error. Our, our bad. Instead of just being like, we're just going to claim a bunch of stuff and hope that you don't notice. Or at least they're not trying to be like, well, we're just going to make you not get the money for a month then or whatever. For, you know, my 100 view video that doesn't make a dollar. I should make a hit single. I mean, I'm trying, man. I have two songs on my channel. Neither of them topped any charts, so... I mean, maybe third time's the charm. Maybe third time's the charm. Yeah. Well, it depends on the musician. I mean more like independent musicians. I don't feel for like, you know, like Metallica so much. You know, bands that are richer than God that everyone knows about. Why do they have to be so hard to get along with? I don't know, man. They shouldn't be. I, I should be, but they should not be. I actually wrote, like, 80% of a hard to get along, like, a new one. Like, this was, like, months ago now. I wrote, like, 80% of it. Like, all I have to do is, like, I wrote the script. I wrote the panels for the animation. I just have to, like put the animation together and like actually voice the lines and I would have a new hire to get along with, but I just haven't touched it in months. I don't know why. Well, it's not as, it's not as topical as it would have been a few months ago, but I should still just release it. But release it here, not on my other channel. Like, all the hard to get along with that are on my second channel, I'm just going to leave on my second channel, but I might I might redo them sometime. I still like them, but, like, the first one I did, I could cut, like, a good nine minutes out of that, and it would be fine. You wouldn't really be losing anything. Like, her, just how you doing? What is happening? Yeah, it's license is job to enforce the copyright. Yeah, and if you don't enforce the copyright and then you decide you want to enforce copyright, like all of a sudden, then the courts can be like, well, hold on a minute. You didn't progress. You didn't proceed copyright here. Why all of a sudden are you doing it here? Big boss, how you doing? Just getting some, just about spaghetti's almost ready. It's probably actually ready. I got so busy just rambling. I hope I didn't overcook my spaghetti. I think it's good. I put an obnoxious amount of salt in it if if you're just joining in. Because I heard it's supposed to make for a really nice pasta. I've never tried using like stupid amounts of salt in the water. 
I think this is still a little, a little crispy. God damn it. I don't want no floor spaghetti. Yeah, it's not quite ready. But I can probably turn the heat up, but is it ever salty? Good God. Weird. Weird, right? But I think if I just do this, then we're good. Ever tried cooking with plastic utensils? Don't. Don't do it. Don't be like me. Don't do that. Did you forget the lard? I didn't forget the lard. I just don't traditionally add lard to spaghetti. But like really though, two cooking streams, I haven't put lard in either of the streams. Like get it together, my guy. What is this? Be sure to rinse well. Oh, I'm gonna. <laughs> Will I ever? Glad I can finally make it to your stream. Work's been really busy. Well, glad to hear. Yeah, you have a spare, little spare time to wind down. Hopefully work will chill out for you in the coming days. Don't need to have lard in every meal, just every tea. That's right. Which reminds me, do I even have any, any drink? Let's see if I have drink. Do I have drink? Do I have drink? Do I have drink? Not really. Uh... Well, I'll live. If I really need drink, I'll go down to the vending machine. It's just branding. Okay, with brands, you don't aggressively defend your brand. You lose the brand. Okay. It's all for the money you get from it. Yeah. From the point of losing the copyright. Hey, looking good, man. Thank you, like Harry just has everything been. Not too bad. I've just been kind of doing some odds and ends with, like, just different streaming ideas lately. Just doing just the gaming, I was like, I need to do something different, any, anything different. So I've just, you know, I've been doing, like, the odd, like, cooking stream or just whatever video. I think it's better all around, currently at least. Like I'm t in too much of a pattern with it or something. God damn. Aha. I think we got ourselves a got ourselves a lovely noodle here. All right. Let's get the rinse and rinse and going. Wish me luck. I don't spill this all over, all over the bloody place. but I also got to make sure it's good and strained. So the more strained it is, the more they can soak up the noodles, the pasta with the noodles. That should be, that should be plenty good right there. Add the sauce with the peanut butter. Dinner served. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, baby. Mm hmm. Mix that all together. Hot diggity. Mix this up. You complete Ring Fit anyway? No, I I didn't explain that. I stopped playing Ring Fit because the Ring Con is like messing with my hand, like here. 
like I can't it's starting to get better now, but like when I was playing it just once a week, like I wasn't even able to like push my hand back like this anymore. Like I was messing my ring finger up. <laughs> Go figure, my ring finger was messing it up. So I've been taking a break from it. I'm thinking that maybe I need to do like actual like weightlifting first to maybe reinforce my grip or something before I get back to it. Because so I don't want to just end up messing my hand up. So whenever I uh, think my body's up to it, I would like to continue with it. It's still a great idea. But that's why I stopped. I don't want to stir it up here because it's like sliding. No, let's do this. There. We're going to have lots of excess sauce in here. Look at it all. But well, that'll soak up over the next few hours. Make the make my breakfast, my spaghetti breakfast, nice and juicy. So I'm just gonna let it uh, percolate here for a minute, and then we will eat. I also have my favorite ingredient of all, grated cheese product. No name. Stress balls are good for hand strength. Yeah, maybe I should start doing that. Could always get a wee fit. I could do that. Do something like that. Push my wrist backwards. When I sleep, I find it's really hurting. It needs to be cracked every time I'm out for more than an hour. That ain't no fun. At least for me, it's not... I don't think it's the wrist. I think it's just like, I think it's some amount of like carpal tunnel that's just like extending up to the ring finger. Because for as long as I did manual labor, my hands never hurt. But like once I started working in an office, it's like, oh great, hand pain, I love it. Uh, this. Get in position. I suppose we can angle angle it down a little bit because there we go. That should be adequate. That no way. Might just slap a logo from the game though. What? Oh, uploaded early last month. I never made public. It's been too late to make a thumbnail. Might just slap a logo from the game, though, and call it a day. I mean, sometimes if something as simple as a thumbnail sticking you up, you just got to be like, I'm just going to release this video. It's easy to want to be a perfectionist about a video and then be like, wait a second, I never ended up releasing it in like three years one but All right. Trap a little bit of the extra moisture. Let it drip out. Let us have ourselves not a massive plate, but some we can masticate to through in like 20 minutes. There we go. Mm, I think one more scoop ought to do it for now. Then we can talk a game we're going to play. If you want. Like I said, I have a pile of them. Again, it doesn't even really have to be this pile. The stuff I'm thinking about. Bye, Spoon. I love you. I love you, Spoon. Hey, Elizabeth, how you doing? I'm checking this channel out after several months. When did you start cooking vids? I've only done one other one. Like, only just recently I've been doing, like, non-game stuff. Just whatever I feel so inclined doing. Today I'm like, I'm just going to cook a spaghetti. Hang out for a bit, eat my spaghetti, and talk about a game that I might play later tonight. 
you know, if you guys are into that sort of thing. Here's my Parmesan. I like a lot of it. I will add more as the as the meal goes on. Spoon is too bent out of shape anyhow. Yeah, I definitely need a new one. I need to get a wooden spoon. I just need to, you know, you can't let them soak or they get all gross. And they'll like crack and stuff. There we go. Cheers. Just enough cheese. I mean, it's for my first layer. I find once I like get into the spaghetti a bit, like I will just have eaten all the cheese, so then I add more cheese. One of these will last me two, maybe three plates of spaghetti. I love Parmesan cheese. Maybe I should say that's a thing. 2,000 subscribers special. I'll, I'll just eat a bowl of Parmesan cheese. Live. Do you have a top 10 or list of games to choose from? No, I just... <clears throat> there's a handful of games where I'm like... I would do like a one-off or so of this game. And I have like a good, I don't know, 15 or so of them. Piled up here. Like I said, it doesn't even necessarily have to be one of these games. I'm just, it's just my thought process. <coughs> that was a close one. <coughs> Excuse me. Don't mind me, I'm just going to choke. <clears throat> How you doing, Astral Flyer? <clears throat> but yeah, I was kind of hoping that the secret sauce might have a little bit of subtext to it. <clears throat> don't die of this. I don't want to die in a live stream. I don't want to rope you guys into it. I don't need to traumatize, you know, a few dozen people if it's all the same to you. Sounds like something you shouldn't stream, honestly. That, then my plan worked. Cat loves it when I cook spaghetti. She licks my plate clean after I finish eating. Yeah, my cat will try to do that, too. She loves tomato sauce and Parmesan cheese more than I do. Is your cat bag for leftovers? <clears throat> He'll beg if I'm eating, like, say, like, chicken nuggets. Pretty much any meat product. But I, I make a point to, like, feed him and then also eat. The problem with that is I eat really slowly. So he's usually done before me. And then he's like, oh, so dessert. I want chicken nuggets. But yeah, sometimes he will sneak a, you know, a lick of the spaghetti plate and stuff like that. Did you inhale that? <clears throat> a little bit, yeah. Just a little bit. And naturally, I don't have a drink. But yeah, give it a try sometime. Just a little bit of, like, a, you know, a fairly generous teaspoon of of peanut butter in your tomato sauce. It's really not bad. Like I said, a little bonus protein, especially helpful if you don't have a ton of burners to play with. Because hamburgers I eat all of it. <clears throat> you could make the sauce in advance, but I generally don't make food in advance. I make food when I'm hungry and want to eat. I'm not a forward enough thinker when it comes to my diet. Like, I'll worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow. Ooh, lasagna. Nice. I'm usually too slack to make a lasagna. Might want to get a drink, yeah. <clears throat> I don't typically drink drinks with my food. 
is like, I don't know if this is even true, but like, this is my logic that I've followed for like over a decade now. I don't like to drink liquids with my meal because I think it will help dilute my stomach acid and make it harder to digest my meal. Whereas if I don't have a drink with it, it'll, my stomach acid can focus on the meal. That, that's why I've always done it. I've heard that if you have like a good bone broth with a meal though, that will help with help aid with the digestion. I think it's more like don't drink a liter of water before a big meal more than like don't have a drink with your meal. But nowadays, like I will have a drink with my meal, but I generally don't. Or something that's kind of milky and not really a drink. Like I'm never thirsty and go like, you know, it really quench, quench my thirst milk. I usually have like a film on my mouth when I'm done milk. I need water to get the milk out of my mouth. But I like milk anyway. I maybe should have rinsed this a bit more. I can definitely taste the extra salt. It's not too salty though. Hey, Nir, how you doing? That's a very clean table. Thank you. Goodness, nice marble reflection. I'll tell you a story about this this cart here. This is a kitchen cart. There was uh, there was like a liquidation store down the street, and this kitchen cart was on sale. And I got it, and it was on sale because liquidation place. But it was the store model, so it was like. <clears throat> no tax, but you buy it, it's yours. Like, great. What I did was I wheeled this kitchen cart from that store back to my apartment. But what I didn't tell you was this was like January, Canadian January. So the sidewalks weren't exactly, shall I say, even. So a little ways back from this place one of the wheels breaks off so i i get the wheel and i'm i'm very mindful of that side of the the cart and i'm like if another wheel breaks off i'm screwed but fortunately i managed to get it back here with three wheels but then me and my buddy put the Got a you know small piece of wood and drilled it back to this cart and you know good as new. I've had it, I've had this cart for years now. It works great. Like just the marble top alone is, it's nice. I like it. Like I could just chop up the the cart and just keep the marble top. Yeah, I think in the cheese product. Parmesan, all kinds of it. The people here, you know, living so to balance it all out. January isn't fun to move any of them. <laughs> well, like, I had a few people be like, what's the matter with you? Like, because, like, I had friends with trucks and stuff. Like, I could have. I could ask people to do it, but I'm like, I know I can wheel this goddamn kitchen cart home, so by God, I'm gonna do it. But, and and damn it, I almost and I did, I almost didn't. No connection from back. Marble's damn heavy. So how far did you push it? Ah. Uh, I'm trying to think like how it feels and like the brakes weren't on, so it wasn't too bad, but like the angling, it was more about trying to angle the cart in such a way so the, the weight was on the wheels at that point. I was also in better shape than I am right now. Back when I was more regularly exercising. So I fell asleep, I didn't see, but did you get Quistus and Squall to 100? I most certainly did. 
And then come the ninth, I'm going to get other characters to level 100 as well. Yeah, thank God didn't ship or hurt the marble. Yeah, like it didn't, like the, the counter never fell over. It was just like, it just got damaged on the bottom a little bit. The top was good. You'd be hard pressed to, to damage marble anyway. I mean, dropping it, you could fuck it up. But otherwise, it's just going to break most other things. Zia, what's up? I live in the street that motorcyclists live with every weekend after 2 a.m. They're running around. That sucks. I always like the idea of having like earmuffs to sleep or something, but then, but then what do you do when it's when you have to wake up? I need more Parmesan here. What am I doing? Got to do one of these because <clears throat> even though it's room temperature, it's still kind of like <clears throat> clumpy. I'm one of those weirdos that doesn't put Parmesan cheese in the fridge. Does it say to put it in the fridge? Probably. It does say refrigerate after opening, but I never do. It usually doesn't last long enough for me for it to matter anyway. But it does say refrigerate after opening, so don't, so don't poison yourself because I do stupid stuff. Are you taking suggestions or recipes to try from the chat? Well, Kaboom and stuff was recommending a recipe, or he brought one up earlier. I hadn't considered the idea of having, like, doing viewer suggestions for meals. So, like, I would, I am open to recipes. Like, if you guys want me to try some recipes and you have the ideas, like, I can try it. <laughs> it's something you guys would like to see. I wouldn't mind. I just hadn't thought about that. I hadn't thought that far ahead. So by all means. Lasagna. I mean, I do love lasagna. For YouTube, I could probably make a lasagna. Normally, I wouldn't make one for myself because I'm a lazy bastard by myself. But I might do one for YouTube. Don't say that to the person who is a chef here in the chat. Well, maybe you can have yourself at a right laugh at my at my cooking. I'm definitely not a chef, but I have done like what do you call it? like line cook sort of. I've worked grills. I've worked like steam tables, crap like that. I've worked with. I don't know if I've even have worked with chefs. I've definitely worked with like Red Seal cooks. I think it might be there might be a distinction there. But yeah, I'm no stranger to a kitchen. I just don't generally like to make fancy stuff for myself. How many layers do you make meals on it? Five layers. I haven't made a lasagna in so long I couldn't tell you how how layered one of mine would be, but I would I would layer it. Nice, nice bit of cottage cheese in there. Just really try uncommon foods and show your reaction. Kind of give your two cents. Maybe like Chinese, con lo me, <laughs> okay. Or Malay, nasi lemak. Well, I mean, I'm definitely up for some suggestions. I mean, it seems like you guys have no shortage of ideas either. So like, I wouldn't mind doing, you know more regular things cook stuff more regularly with like viewers choice try to make salmon patties salmon patties start with canned salmon add crumpled ritz crackers and egg mixed well and hand mold it into patty and then cook it with a little oil yeah like 
like that sounds just fine. But like to what Astral Flyer is saying, just no weird bad suggestions. Yeah, like if it's like deliberately obviously going to be disgusting, I won't do it. But if it's just if it's kind of like on a fe- on the fence, or just otherwise like an uncommon thing, I'm down to try it. But there's like some stuff I know I don't like, like feta cheese and things like that. Flexible streams. I'm trying to be more flexible with my streams lately. It's just easier around my brain, frankly. I think it just kind of goes back to like, I've always wanted to be like, I've always been a variety channel at heart, but I, I tend to focus on video games. But, like, me wanting to do, like, a random thing like this and just stream me making my spaghetti isn't, like, that weird for me. But, like, it might seem weird for you since you're so used to me doing, like, the game stuff. But, like, if I could get, like, in touch with my roots, per se, with, you know, just doing whatever, then I am fine with that. Look at the buttery saltiness. The Ritz crackers. Instead of the breadcrumbs. Well, it's got like that little bit of, would you even call it cheese flavor, whatever the, the Ritz are? Because when, when you say the crumpled Ritz crackers, for whatever reason, I'm picturing like the Ritz cheese, like cookie sandwich things, which might not be bad either. Although cheese isn't traditionally served with fish, maybe like a, a cheese sauce of some sort. Not like there's fish milk that I know of. You're a mukbang streamer now in my eyes. Oh, no. I mean, I did put that in the tag, so what can you say? I mean, I'm down to experiment with different streaming ideas anyway. If it's something I don't mind doing and you guys don't mind watching it, I think we can meet in the middle somewhere. I'm not, I will never, never eat a lot of fruit. I don't care what the circumstance is. But yeah, I, uh, that's just like twisted in my brain. Is there any meat in my spaghetti? <clears throat> if I had more, <clears throat> excuse me. If I had more burners, I would love to have meat with my spaghetti. But just for simplicity's sake, and just the two burners, I added peanut butter to the sauce instead of meat. Which I like, and I recommend trying. But, but no, I love a, some hamburger in my spaghetti. It's meant to be. But yeah, just the thought of eating something alive is just absolutely twisted to me. I would never do that to another living creature knowingly. I enjoy. Oh yeah, you're going to the supermarket to get the lard log last time. I still need to make a recipe with lard in it. Must just boil meatballs. Maybe on my Discord, I need to have like a like a recipes channel. Then you guys can be like, try this recipe, and if something like clicks with me, I can be like, yeah, I'll try that. Be careful, Squid have no qualms about eating you. That's fine. Squid can eat me alive all at once. I don't want to eat a squid alive. If a squid jumped off of a bridge, I wouldn't do it. How are you eating ultra? I would eat ultras. That's my exception to the rule. Uncle Alti in my belly. You can also just boil meatballs. Oh, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, or hamburger meat in the sauce itself. I never really think to get meatballs, but yeah, you're right, put the hamburger. I just prefer to cook meat by itself, then throw it in the sauce. Because I'm a little paranoid when it comes to cooking meat. That actually, how you doing? I love spaghetti. Oh, me too. Almost done. I'm just kind of 
picking away at it. Then I'm going to grab like a handful of games and see if we can't decide on one. Dumbass in distress, how you doing? I feel like a Mario joke could be made here. Yeah, if I, if I had like a spicy meatball or something. There's definitely like a Super Mario Brothers Super Show kind of reference you could make. But it escapes me at the moment. But what if the squid didn't jump off the bridge? What then? Well, if it's coming to eat me, then I am going to jump off the bridge. Hopefully there's water for me to fall into. And not another squid for me to fall into. Yeah, swing your arms from side to side. That's right. Making a cavatelli would be interesting for you. What's that? That's not like a ravioli type of thing. Is it like something with meat like in the pasta? I typically only have either just macaroni or spaghetti. Like I'll never make fettuccine for myself. I'm just I just don't. You're suffering meat poultry shortages because of COVID. I haven't really noticed. Or any other ingredient shortages? Here at my place. I haven't really noticed much in the way of food shortages. Just stuff in the, along the lines of like, like gloves, sanitizer, just like that sort of thing. But like before everything started getting locked down, I was, well, I was hearing rumblings about it, so I went out and like I stocked up on a bunch of stuff. So anything I would eat normally, so I was good for a while in that regard. But no, like I don't cook a lot of just like hamburger or like fresh meat. I just forget I have it. Next thing I know, I can't eat it anymore. And if I freeze it, it's like, why well, may I just buy box meat then? I'm going to freeze it anyway. Yeah, I don't eat enough veggies. I mean, the tomato sauce is kind of a veggie. I mean, you say you eat veggies, but there's no meat in this. So what am I eating? I mean, lots of grain and, and dairy, wood protein, whatever this actually is. Cavatelli is a sort of baked pasta thing. With three different kinds of pasta. Oh, baked with mozzarella cheese over the top. Oh, it's like a casserole. The three usually shells and cylinders and spirals. Oh, so it's sort of like a lasagna, I guess. But but like a pasta Frankenstein creation. Yeah, nothing but carbs. All of the carbs. Protein, you say, time to do curl ups. Yeah, while well, eating your spaghetti. <clears throat> I just need to get a box of cat litter for each arm. Do curls. Well, I'm almost done. Then uh, I'll just grab this mound of games, and maybe you guys can join me for some games after this. Some sort. What I'll probably do in that time is go get a drink, then set up the stream, then do whatever game we decide. <clears throat> Times like this, I wish I had data, because then you could just come with me to the store. And get a pop. Come back. I mean, a mystery drink. Not a pop. Mystery drink. Might take more time, but you could definitely try making... Ooh, baklava dessert. Well, depending on whatever I were to make, like, there's some stuff I could, like, I could, like, pre... 
like I could prep. Like if I were to make another pass, though, like maybe next time, don't like I could get the the water like a half hour head start boiling before I turn the stream on. Not that I thought it was a big deal, but like I could have multitasked that better probably. <laughs> I was full, saw you eat, and made me hungry again. Well, you you get yourself a good snack. Let me know what you got. You had yourself a spaghetti yesterday. You make it yourself, gotcha. Or like family recipe type of thing. Come to accept the remake of Crystal Chronicles isn't very good, and I wasted my money. <laughs> I more or less come to the conclusion that like, if I have someone to play it with, I'm happy enough playing it. But like, the missus made it very nice. Like I'm happy enough happy enough playing it if I have like a crew to play it with. I have zero interest in playing it by myself. But I've heard of some of the critiques about it, and I'm like, I understand why people who played the original one would feel chapped by this version on top of it all. But like, if you're playing it looking for the Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles remake, you're probably going to be disappointed. I do like how there's, uh, what do you call it? Like crossplay. I like that much. Breaking let the water boil first because I'm guilty of watching the damn pot again. Yeah, you guys couldn't stop watching the pot. It took 40 minutes for it to boil. It has nothing to do with the fact that like the burners are like half the size of the pot. How you doing, Xtreme? What's up? Multiplayer yeah, is worse. I've heard that too than the OG game. Do you have a crew to play with? Yeah, play something. Yeah, just play Secret of Mana. Pressure to the video. Yeah, I saw that too. But yeah, no, I, I can't really argue with a lot of those points. It's like, that's why I'm like, I'm okay with it. Like, if I have people to play with, I'm like, yeah, it's fine dungeon crawling. But if I had memories of the old one and played this one, it's like, what's this cheap thing? This cheap excuse for Crystal Chronicles. <laughs> the pot takes longer to boil if you watch it. So what if 20 plus people are watching it? I would think it would boil 20 times slower. That has to be how it works, right? 20 times never. Oh, yeah, I think, Kaboom, you were saying, too, about the Tony Hawk game. That was kind of the reason he was, he was telling me that people streaming the Tony Hawk game were getting hit by, like, copyright claims because of the music. That was kind of the trying to make a point over here. Am I actually, uh, have I even hiccuped? Okay, I'm back. Tony Hawk 1 and 2. The only reason I didn't play it on my channel before was like, the nostalgia I have for the game is like with the music, as fun as the game is, like the music just kind of puts it over the top for me. So to stream without music, I'm kind of like, eh. So if I were to stream Tony Hawk 1 and 2 on the new re-release, I would definitely stream it without the music. For that very reason, because I just know that you would get nailed with like copyright music from pillar to post with that one. There, I'm full again, thanks to the lasagna. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. I will be I will boil next year. Oh, it will boil next year. Yes. I don't I don't boil. Me too. Good lord. That would be bad. Oh, cool, Mr. Gotcha. I'm going to ask you if you're going to play Tony Hawk. I should. I really like Tony Hawk 2. Tony, Tony Hawk 2 was my favorite. I also like Tony Hawk 1. But yeah, once I finish... I really want to play through Final Fantasy VIII again, level 100. Once I'm done that, we'll see if I still want to play Tony Hawk or if I still want to play uh, Kakarot. Like, what I want to play more. Stream Tony Hawk with the episode Arden music. Well, yeah, I'll have to get, like, another... I mean, I could just get a video game playlist for for those streams. And then it's like, whatever. What's the difference? 
Because I imagine you can keep the sound on, but the, the music off. Final Fantasy VIII hard version. That that was the hope. Because I don't think Final Fantasy VIII new thread mod is finished yet. So we'll give it another year to gestate. And if it's not done, then I probably will just won't play Final Fantasy on my channel again until it's done. It's unusual for me to go back to a game three times anyway. So I'm trying to think of another instant Mega Man. But, like, other than Mega Man, I don't think I've ever done that with another game. Yes, and the Kaboom Mystery game as well. If it doesn't make my computer go Kaboom, then stop. You can stream it, but can't archive the video. I mean, that wouldn't surprise me either. I mean, I've been unlisting all my, not all of them, but like a lot of my videos anyway. So. I trimmed the beard a couple weeks ago, I want to say. Just three times. I play Tactics over 3,000 times. I mean three times on my channel. There's other games I've beaten like dozens of times. Like Earthbound, I've beaten like over 20 times. But not on my channel. I've beaten it twice on my channel. Mother 2 Deluxe and in Japanese. I beat, I beat, I don't know Japanese, but I beat Earthbound in Japanese. I feel like that's one of those challenges I did that's actually like really ridiculous and I don't give myself enough credit for it. I was like, yeah, I just know Earthbound that well. That's fine. Plus just, you know, a little bit of like, you know, just recognizing symbols and stuff. No more long beard. It was bugging me. Hopefully, once it's cold again, I'll be, I'll be back to full capacity. Oh yeah, Mother Three, I've beaten twice. Oh, the Guitar Hero controller, and then I streamed it. I'm trying to think if there is, well, Fire Pro, if, that, if you count that. Because it was like a, a weekly thing. I don't know if you can really count that. It was like its own series for a bit. I was thinking about doing another one, but then I just I kind of went old on the idea. Because if I do do it, there's like kind of a halfway complicated promo I want to cut with like all of my characters. And if I do that, it's going to take me a minute. So I probably just won't do it because I'm lazy. Oh, the scavenger mod, please. I was looking into that. I thought about playing it back when I played Final Fantasy VII doing the Platinum run. But, like, 4A Productions wasn't even done his playthrough on YouTube yet, I don't think. So I was like, I don't want to... I can at least let the guy that made the mod finish his playthrough before I get into it. And then I just never circled back to it, but I would like to try it. Seems interesting enough. I mean, what the hell am I talking about? I played Final Fantasy VII on my channel three times. Like the original version. Well, one of them's a new third, for obvious reasons. I didn't know about that with Mother 3, Kaboom. About there being like a clause mod, clause, clause mod. I think everything else is the same. Remake. Well, yeah, I did play the remake twice. You're right. And fuck, almost three times actually, because I was I started doing that toad ring challenge, and kind of forgot I was doing that. I should go back to that actually. <clears throat> that might be a good like Friday or Saturday thing to do. Because you know how I like to take my Fridays and Saturdays off, generally. If I am to deliberately take a day off, those are the days I'll take off. So maybe I should make, like, Friday be, like, my Final Fantasy Toad Ring Challenge Day. 
I mean, if I think people are still into it or whatever. My click-through rate experiment, I think, is working. As far as, I don't know if it'll drive more traffic to my channel yet, it's still too early to tell. It's the way I understand YouTube, I don't know if this is still the case or not. But back when I started YouTubing a lot, I was under the impression that YouTube will reassess your channel every 100 days or so. So I got to try to do this pro this experiment for at least 100 days. Like, really, you want to do it for, like, 200 if, it, if, if 100 is right. Like, depending on where you are on that, I don't know if it's, like, quarterly or, like, how that works. Again, if it's even still the case. But, like, if I go through, like, an entire section and YouTube's like, this motherfucker has 2% more click-through rate than normal. Well, he's doing something different. Let's push him out to people. <clears throat> Maybe it'll do nothing. But there's a thing in the YouTube analytics that says click-through rate and watch time. And YouTube will put the live streams I'm less concerned about. Click-through rate is what I'm most concerned about. And once a live stream's already happened, anyways. I bring it up all the time, I feel like. I hope it works. I hope I did a thing that makes YouTube like me. Like, I deliberately do a thing. Rather than, like, this random YouTube lottery stuff. Be like, oh, what's your secret? I don't know. Be around and get lucky is your YouTube strategy. If I could actually do something that like actually moves the needle, I would be very happy with that. Can you stream GameCube games? I think so, yeah. I don't have a ton of them though. I used to have like 20, I've lost most of them. Yeah, okay, YouTube up creators help thing. 90 day, okay, evaluation, okay, okay. So I'm not making that up. Still want to see the MTG RPG game. That might be one that I just try and see how it does. Because I know some people are like super into Magic the Gathering. I used to be pretty into it, but not like... I would say like, I don't know. Not like beginner plus, but like I wouldn't say I was intermediate either. I'd be like somewhere between that. Intermediate minus, I don't know. Like, I was kind of into it. I had, like, certain deck builds like, ideas. Like, I would build an artifact deck, for instance. I also had a deck that was just to be an annoying dickhead. Where it's like, oh, fog. Oh, fog. Oh, here's my land creature to power my, my thing that's like fog but does damage to people. Like, it, it was just like a stall deck. It's just to be completely annoying. But, like, anyway, my whole point is I feel like Magic the Gathering stream, it could be really boring to watch. But it could it could be, like, if we get a bunch of, like, super, like, Magic the Gathering nerds in there, we might have a, a righteous good time. So it's worth thinking about. Played a bit with my sister, but not really since, like, high school. Last time I played Magic seriously, it was, like, seven years ago. I still have most of my cards. I don't have all of them. Because some of them I just, you know, I bring these cards over here and then I forget them and like whatever. But I have like the vast majority of them. Anyways, I have some idea like how to play Magic. So like that's what I'm trying to say is like, yes, the, ma the Magic the Gathering RPG is of interest to me, but I feel like for someone not into magic to watch, it would be like, what is this shit? But I also haven't seen like the town, like, you... like I know Pro Jared's done a, a thing on that too. I haven't watched it in forever. So I don't remember if there's like cities and like how dungeons and stuff would work, how exactly it works. But yeah, I could just, I could just try it for a day or two and like, if I'm not feeling it, I just don't beat it. <clears throat> now that I've kind of gotten it through my head that, like, you don't have to beat every game you stream, man.
Randomized map. Does have man mana burn. Yeah, I figured it must. Like with the like it would have the any rolls that normal magic would have. Good lord, this this spaghetti stream's almost two hours. Not that that's a massive deal really, but like I have a bunch of games, we can talk about them for like twenty minutes, so and then try to figure out something to play. Okay. Cheers. Now, I'm going to grab a handful of games. We're going to talk about them for a minute. We don't have to play any of these ones necessarily. But I'm figuring of all of them that I'm showing here, there might be one where people are like, ooh, ooh, this game that I didn't realize you had. Or I didn't realize I wanted to see streamed until just now. All time, I'll be our B. All right, Kaboom. I'm going to be our H. Pokemon Rescue? Is that, what's that? Is that the mobile game? Not Go, but like I thought there was a, a new Pokemon game that like Tencent had something to do with. Is it that? Oh, excuse me. All right. I don't think all of these I necessarily put here to go up for selection, but I'm taking them all. Oh, it's like Chocobo Dungeon. Oh, it's like, uh, yeah, okay. It's like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon type of thing. I should play those. I like Mystery Dungeons. Is this game, is this also one I want in the pile? Ah, sure, let's throw it in anyway. This wasn't the plan, but I'll throw it in. What's this? Yeah, let's all of these. Okay. Their new host, the Parmesan cheese can. Anyway, a bunch of, I guess I can kind of stand or do like a half stand type of thing. Anyway, here's a pile of games. It's a whole pile of them. So in no particular order, with no particular order, I'm going to just start going through them. Old favorite of mine, it's backwards. These will all be backwards, but Sim City for the Super Nintendo. I don't know if this would be like good one off necessarily, but I do definitely want to stream this someday. Brought this game up before. It's Flintstones game for the Super Nintendo. What was it? The Flintstones, the treasure of Sierra Madrock. It is a Flintstones. The world map is structured like a board game. But you can also, like, buy items with clams somehow. And, like, depending on where you roll on the map, you do a different level. It's actually a really good game. We could definitely do this in one stream some night. I don't think tonight it would be a very long game. Very long stream. So I don't know why I picked it, but I just want to be like, this game exists and it's good. Mariano, how you doing? Yeah, I got some Super Nintendo. I don't have, like, Monopoly, Mario Party... I'd liken it closer to Mario Party, but instead of random mini games, there's a few. But instead of random uh, mini games, it's just like this little level you have to run. Actually, pretty good. Classic Yoshi's Island, uh, Mario. Although maybe I'll say if I do the uh, that Mario 35th Collection thingy, I could like tack this on somewhere. Yeah, yeah, the game's similar to Mario Party. I got the two cruising games. <clears throat> cruising World, Cruising Exotica. I'm more of a Cruising World guy. Cruising World's my favorite of the series. I also have Cruising for the Wii, which I didn't know about until I started streaming. Someone told me about it. I believe William told me about it. So I picked it up when I saw it. I still haven't played it yet, but I imagine it's okay. It's a Cruising game. If it's as good as Cruising USA, it'd be fun for an afternoon. Big Boss, what's the rarest game I own? Probably Bonk's Adventure for the normal Nintendo. 
to my knowledge, that would be the rarest one. There's another one I'll subject you to someday, whether you like it or not, Flying Dragon for the N64, made by the same people as Little Ninja Brothers. It is... It has, like, two fighting modes. There's, like, one more realistic fighting mode, but then there's another fighting mode where you can, like... I forget if you can buy them, but you can get new weapons to equip on your fighter, and it's a fighting game. <clears throat> and you have to do, like, certain things and fights to win, like... I forget the steps now. But, like, I don't know, beat very hard with the time limit on 30, let's say, and then you'll get, like, a different weapon. It's another one of those culture brain games that I love. Like Soul Calibur. I think it's a bit of a stretch to say that it's like Soul Calibur, but it's similar... Similar, I guess, in, in the sense that you can change weapons and stuff. And it's a fighting game. I guess it's a fair comparison. Uh, probably a better comparison than any other fighting game, come to think of it. Yeah, like Soul Calibur. Yeah, exactly. Sounds like the board game off of Disgaea 5. I didn't know there was a board game in Disgaea 5. I also have Mace the Dark Ages, <clears throat> which is also actually like a Soul Calibur precursor, but more like Mortal Kombat in the sense that uh, automatic or, uh, there's executions, which are fatalities. And you use weapons and stuff. It's really, really hard. Uh, and WCW NWO World Tour. Revenge is my favorite, but World Tour is a good one. What else? What else is here? Oh, and Rush 2. Rush 2 is a lot of fun. The <clears throat> What's it called? There's a stunt mode that's a blast. If I were to stream this, I'd probably just play like the stunt mode. Classic. And uh, there's Ninja Gaiden. Which I've still... I've never beaten it. I've played it. Never beaten it. Uh, NES Batman. NES Batman for the NES. Another classic. Uh, Bionic Commando. KJ was around, he'd be like, that one. We got Bionic Commando here. Oh, what else did I grab? Earthworm Jim 2. Not a massive fan of Earthworm Jim 1. Earthworm Jim 2, though, excellent game. Excellent. Uh, Rap Jam Volume 1 is an awful, awful game. Awful game. How's the Bionic Commando remake? Uh, there's Aladdin. All, all add in. And last but not least, uh, well, not even last, or least, uh, Star Fox for the Super Nintendo. And here's last but not least, Pinball Quest for the NES, which is a pinball RPG. However that works. <laughs> Star Fox. It's fun, but it spams the same enemies, okay, over and over again. New Batman has a such kick-ass OST. Rush 2, stun is a blast. I love Ninja Gaiden, <laughs> Ninja says, obviously. Ninja Gaiden, or Earthworm Jim, or even Star Fox. <clears throat> right now, it seems like either Star Fox or Ninja Gaiden. Star Fox. Those seem to be like the heavy hitters. Now, now I think Star Fox is up one. I'm fine with whatever. Star Fox. Might be doing some Star Fox then. Spontaneous Star Fox. Because I've done Star Fox 64. I've never done regular Star Fox here. Sim City for me. Yeah, but maybe with a little more time. Yeah, like I, I, I didn't really think it through before I started showing them off. But once I started talking, it's like I would really... Like, if I'm going to do SimCity, that'd be better to do for, like, a day or two. Like, there's missions and stuff. Like, we could play SimCity for a couple of days, so I, I agree. It wouldn't be good for, like, right now. And you can't vote twice. Yeah. Star Fox. Okay, right now, I think it's Star Fox is going to be the popular vote. 
In which case, uh, I can certainly do that. We can do some Star Fox tonight. But like I said, I'm gonna just I'm gonna go get some drink. Then I'll be on to do that. Star not. I get it. But Ninja Guy, it'll hurt less. It'll hurt less nutting the fridge. Do you mean like if I were to nut and a fridge would come out? Yes, that would hurt less than Ninja Gaiden. <laughs> oh, when I said, oh, okay, gotcha. I was on the list of games. Oh, it was an FFX laugh, of course. Final Fantasy laugh. Okay, I guess I don't really need to milk this any longer. I'd say right now that, for you now, quick impromptu vote, Star Fox is the winner. So give me, I don't know, about a half hour or so, and I will be back to stream some Star Fox for you guys tonight. But yeah, give me about a half hour, like I said. You can milk if you want. Well, I mean, like, I might as well just get, like, the dinner is over. The dinner is over. I may as well just. And you guys have an opinion on something that I should play, so you're down for me playing something. So I'll get a drink. Uh, we'll play some Star Fox. I don't think it'll be a turbo long. I mean, unless I, like, rush right through it. I haven't played OG Star Fox in so long. Actually, it's on the SNES Mini, isn't it? Maybe I could play it on the Mini. I might try that, actually. Play it on the Mini. Anyways. I'm going to end this spaghetti stream, or whatever you want to call it now. So I'm going to... I'm probably also, in the next couple of days, add, add a channel to my Discord for recipes. So if you guys have any recipes you want me to have, or... Or just leave in the comment, like, once the stream is over, if you want me to try a recipe, leave it in the comments. And I can consider it, at least. It tickles my fancy. I thought N64 Star Fox was the first one. No, there was a Super Nintendo one that came first. And then there was also going to be Star Fox 2, uh, which didn't happen originally, but it was recently released on the SNES Mini on the Super Nintendo. So we will we'll try that in a bit. So thanks for joining for some dinner, folks. Don't forget the lard. Give me, like I said, give me about a half hour. Keep your eyes on the Discord and or just like my Mega Hive slash C slash live page or whatever. I'll be on to play some Star Fox, so don't forget the lyre, and I'll see you in about a half hour if I can remember how to end the stream, which I guess is this way. Will the Parmesan cheese be returning on the other stream? Oh, if if by popular demand we can Parmesan cheese can make another appearance. Anyways, until then, I will catch you later. Thanks, folks. Now, now I'm being slow about it because it's like I didn't do this. The way I end this is different now, so it's, there we go.